adequately see the mustache. Go whenever. Okay. My favorite poem. That's that's a really great question. Um, I would probably have to say "Mother to Son" by Langston Hughes. Just a classic, even for the um person who's not such a fanatic about poetry like me. Uh. Anyways, hello. I'm Wyatt, Kendra's brother. And, um, I guess I'll be talking about Mother to Son by Langston Hughes. Mother to Son by Langston Hughes. Well, son, I'll tell you. Life for me ain't been no crystal stair. It's had tacks in it and splinters and boards torn up and places with no carpet on the floor. Bare. But all the time, I's been a-climbin' on and reachin' landin's and turnin' and turnin corners and sometimes goin' in the dark where there ain't been no light so boy, don't you turn back don't you set down on the steps cause you f finds it's, ki it's kinder hard don't you fall now, for I's still goin' honey I's still climbin' and life for me ain't been no crystal stair is crystal smooth? Would it be stupid of me to say that crystal is smooth? Mm -hmm. okay. Um, this poem is my favorite poem not only because of its significance, but because of the writing style. The the style the style in which it's written is very um almost discreet as if like referencing the lesson, but not directly stating it. In this poem, there is a large amount of imagery that Langston Hughes uses to properly convey um, the message of the poem. And really, the analogies are more metaphors for the lesson which is not to give up in life, I would, that's how I would interpret it at least, um, is the, the, the stairs are a metaphor for the journey of life. And um, in the mother's story, her feet are what take the beating, or what um, sort of endure the, the worse parts of life and um, the human condition and experience and she talks about a lot about um, the crystal stair which um, would be smooth and I guess easy or on your feet whereas the tax are what she's had to go through to finally achieve happiness in her life she says her life hasn't been a crystal stair, it's been filled with tacks and splinters. Um, or in other words, hardships and uh, sacrifices. And uh, yeah, that's just some of, that's just an example of the imagery that Langston Hughes uses to properly convey um, his point. I really like how Langston Hughes does that and gives you the feeling that it's um, a, a life lesson and the fact that his mother or this mother in the story is is um, voicing this lesson is even more significant because maternal figures are the ones in our life or at the beginning stages of our life who are um, responsible for the way we learn, the lessons we learn, and um, I think that's why this poem is so significant.